Organizations coming together to commemorate the restoration of an historic African-American cemetery. Today, the unveiling of a new monument at Myrtle Grove Cemetery. News News Kevon Dupree was there and spoke with organizers about the significance. The monument behind me was unveiled this morning to honor those who were laid to rest nearly a mile from here at the historic Myrtle Grove Cemetery. Georgetown leaders ensuring their ancestors are never forgotten. A beautiful day that we can celebrate and commemorate those people who have paved the way for us to be here today. Formerly enslaved African Americans were buried at Myrtle Grove Cemetery until international paper purchased the land in the 1930s. For some reason, they gated it off in the 60s, but a lot of people did not know or perhaps forgotten and there was a cemetery back there. A local historian discovered the cemetery decades later and worked to make it accessible to family members once again. My brother, Tony Nelson, got in touch with International, who is Mr. Josh Fleming, and they decided to reopen the cemetery. Then, International Paper showed even more support for the community's efforts to acknowledge their ancestors. Not only did they allow loved ones but um, we came together about three years ago and asked them, could we put a monument there? And they said yes, and they gave us a generous grant. The paper company also provided land for the memorial. This place that I'm standing now a month and a half ago, it didn't exist. They actually moved the fence back. I just can't express the feeling that has come over me this day. The Myrtle Grove Cemetery Committee says they're currently in the initial stages of transforming this land into a memorial park. Reporting in Georgetown, Kevon Dupree, Count On 2.